Turning now to your community focus, we've been talking a lot about the construction happening on and around the Newport Pell Bridge. So with the shifts of the ramps onto the bridge, how is the city by the sea going to look any different? Joining me now to discuss that and much more, Newport Mayor Zai Kamsavorovan. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me on, Kim. So you've sort of likened these shifts of these ramps to what happened to Providence after 195 was moved and all of that land that's still being redeveloped to this day was opened up. How do you think this is going to change how your city looks? This is like what happened to Providence on steroids, right? The 195 relocation was 19 acres of land being freed up, transformational for the city. In Newport, what we're looking at in a combination of both the property being freed up from the bridge realignment, the potential for us to take control the Navy Hospital property mm. and also that old casino property is 60 acres, wow. three times the amount of property. In addition to that, the water frontage that we front up to isn't just the Providence River, right? Mm. It is Narragansett Bay, one of the most spectacular parts of Narragansett Bay at the entrance to the U.S. Naval War College. This is a once in a generation opportunity for Newport to have serious redevelopment that could create high paying jobs. What do you hope goes there? Well, the focus for us is the blue economy, right? Mm -hmm. These jobs that are tied to the ocean and ocean health. It makes sense when you think about Newport's tradition and legacy, but also about the fact that we are right there at the entrance to Naval Station Newport, which has not only the U.S. Naval War College, but don't forget, NOAA is locating several hundred scientists that are going to be right there. You've got the U.S. Coast Guard with a big facility there, the Naval Undersea Warfare Center. It makes sense. I want to talk to you about something that's being floated, this idea of school zone speed cameras. Mm. Several other cities, uh, East Providence, Providence, Pawtucket already have them. Some drivers think it's just a money grab. Do you support the idea? It's about safety. It's mm -hmm. about pedestrian, cyclist safety for everybody that's out on our roads. We had an accident recently, yeah. right? And anytime there's an accident in your community, it, it hits us hard, particularly mayors. Mm -hmm. uh, but for me, right, the victim herself was somebody who was the same age and build as my younger sister who works professionally in cyclist safety, mm -hmm. right? And so we've been very focused on this issue from really the beginning of this council session. Right? We had a master transportation plan that looks at putting in the types of infrastructure we need, including things like speed cameras, to make sure that we're making and reducing the amount of interactions between cyclists, pedestrians, and motor vehicles. And we're also very invested in making sure that we're improving the habits of our community. Things like the wave that you do to make sure that mm -hmm. the, the driver sees contact with you, or the traffic garden. We just two blocks from where that accident occurred recently opened up the state's first traffic garden, mm -hmm. where young people can ride through an enclosed environment to get a feeling for how they should be conducting themselves on the roadway on a cycle or while walking. So we need that combination of both infrastructure and behavioral changes to get to a point where we have zero traffic related fatalities. I take it personally, we're gonna keep working on it, looking at every tool available to us. I wanna to talk to you about schools. The RICAS scores recently came out. Newport schools ticked lower on those scores. We were talking a little bit before you came into the studio about chronic absenteeism. How are you tackling those issues? Well, we all need to be working together as a community to make sure that our schools and our students have the opportunities they deserve and reach their full potential. We have a lot of work to do here in Newport, but we're working together with our school committee on doing just that. Absenteeism is one of those areas that has a tremendous impact on the academic outcome of students. In Newport last year, nearly a third of our elementary school students were chronically absent, mm -hmm. nearly half of our high school students. Wow. This year, we're watching that number closely. We're about one in four students right now that tr are tracking towards being chronically absent, but we're looking at making sure that our students understand that showing up oftentimes is one of the most important things you do in life. That includes in school and making sure that they know that our entire community expects them to be in the classroom learning. Lots happening in Newport. Unfortunately, that's all the time that we have. Mayor Sai Kamsavorovan, thanks so much for being here at 4. Thank you for having me on.